nerds and nerdits, it's your boy Stevie B with another mystery box unboxing. And this one comes from Neil D26 on on uh, eBay. And the price in this one is $37.95 plus $13.95 shipping. So roughly about $52 bucks in this. And um, you get 10 comics, and he says that there's possibilities to get uh, sketch covers, uh, signed books, promises lots of good stuff. And he says there's supposed to be 10 books in here, but man, this thing's awful heavy. Sure feels like more than 10 books to me. Um... I bought, did I buy two of them? I may have bought I may have bought two of them because I got if you buy two, you get one free. Um, I did not buy two of them because he s sent me three. Um, I did not buy two. Did not buy three. I bought. One, because, yeah, my my bill was 37. Okay, so he sent me three mystery boxes. I'm a little confused. I don't know if he made a mistake or what, but we'll see what we got. All right. I'm, okay, they are turned a little wonky, so... We'll figure out how to, we'll just do them this way. Anyway, so, wow, okay, three boxes. All right, well, let's see. We've got Action Comics number 862. All right, and this one is polybagged, I believe. Yeah, sealed on poly bag. It is Spider Man number forty six. Beware the rage of a desperate man, part one. That one's in a poly bag. Excellent condition. Oh, dude, <laughs> man, I remember this one. I can't remember. I can't remember what the significance of it was, but I remember this cover. I remember having it. But it is uh, Green Lantern number 81. That embossed foil cover. So that's cool. And then we got Captain America No More number 332. <clears throat> That's cool. Then we get Batman and the Outsiders, number 28. This is 80s book. It's the original Batman and the Outside. The Truth About Looker, part one. So far, these have been in really good condition. This one's got a little bit of spine roll on it, but for, you know, for 80s, it's not bad. Cool. Oops. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep these things. Yeah, let's see. Where are we at here? That was book number five. Book number six. Wolverine. 58. It's a cool cover. Every time I say that, it's... Oh, uh, it's... Ew. I don't know who that... I can't pronounce that name, but... S-U-I-D-A... C-D-A... I don't know. It's a cool cover. Nope, we got ourselves a COA here. 
Let's see, it is signed by Brian Middleton. Wolfborn, number one. That's a variant cover. Never heard of this. But there's your signature there. And a comic vault. COA on the back. Alright, so that was... Huh. Now it said you get ten comics, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only got eight in this box, but he sent me three boxes, so I can't complain. This is a uh, Militia, number one, from Black Box Comics. Never heard of this either. It's kind of cool looking, though. So, all right, well, that was box number one. Um, eight books in that one. Like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like I said, he says ten. You get ten comics, but I only got eight in that one. But he sent me three boxes, so I got more than ten comics altogether. So I can't. I'm not complaining. So let's see what's in box number two here. All right. <clears throat> More indie stuff. Mm. Um, Sigil. I think Sigil, number 18. Cross Gen Comics. Sigil. Sigil. <laughs> Sigil. I don't know. Never heard of that one. What? Starter name pop. Oh, nice. Been wanting to get these. Deceased Unkillables, number one. I appreciate the variant cover. Looks like Red Hood. I've been wanting to get these, so I'm glad to get that one. Nice. And, huh. Little, <laughs> little art print here. Uh, Spider Woman. Just a little, a little throw in. And uh, we're getting some indies in this one, ain't we? This is uh, Chapter House Comics, Captain Canuck, number one. Pretty cool. Not too bad. And we get Young Blood, little nineties goodness here. Young Blood number ten. Death of Chapel. Little spawn in the background. Not bad. Little nineties goodness there. And two issue limited mini series. The Silver Surfer. This is part one. Oh, nice. See, now I like it when they do that. He sent me part one. And he sent me part two. So he sent me the whole two-part series. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. I appreciate it when they don't. Send me one part and leave me hanging. That's pretty cool. Oh, we're getting some good stuff here. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 308. This is an excellent condition. Who kidnapped Mary Jane? That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Now, this is interesting. Somebody might have to help me out with this because this is pretty interesting. 
What if number four is what if the alien costume had possessed Spider Man? It did, didn't it? <laughs> but, um, wow. That, I mean, does that predate? I, I'm going to look at it. Y'all help me out in the comments. I, I don't understand that. That surely that doesn't predate Secret Wars. And that's weird. And then last one in this box is Wildcats X-Men, The Silver Age, number one. It's a little image and Marvel crossover there. That's cool. All right, well, we got one more box here. I'm kind of... As I said, I'm a little confused. This is why I got three boxes, but whoa. Um, wow, okay, cool. We got Incredible Hulk King Size Annual number six. And this thing's in great condition. Man, that's pretty cool. That's in really good condition. I don't know how old that is, what year that is, if it says. It's a 60 center, so it's like in the 70s. That's cool. Well, <clears throat> I think I got my money's worth just on sheer volume alone. <laughs> All right, now this is X51, the Machine Man, number one. Marvel Tech. Huh. That's pretty, that's interesting. I never heard of that one. Very interesting. <laughs> and then we got Batman number ni 90. Um, Batman 90. Then that, I think I have this one, but I have the the uh, variant cover. I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to remember. Ninety. This is not the first appearance of of um. Is it the designer? Or is that in the? No, I think that's the first appearance of the designer. We'll look it up again. I'm trying to remember, but then we got profit. Number nine, little image goodness there. Pretty cool. You sure sent me a lot of books. All right, and we get Fantastic Four number 342. There's some 80s stuff. These are in really great condition, man, and they're all bagged and boarded. The one signature I got had a COA. I mean, so far this guy's knocking it out of the park, man. And then we got Batman 612. It's a Jim Lee cover. That's pretty cool. Superman got Batman in death grip there. Oh. <clears throat> Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, number five. You know, I got number one of these, of this one, and then I fell off of it and didn't do it anymore. Oh, look here. I got the, he sent me part five, the Harley and the Poison Ivy cover. So I got the connecting covers. Bandits. That's cool. Appreciate that, man. All right, now we're getting into some, some something from, from my sweet spot. This is I actually have a couple of these, but this is the first one I've actually got that's still in the poly bag. But this is the Adventures of Superman number five hundred. That one's still poly bagged, and that is in mint. That is cherry condition in there, man. That is cool. That's awesome. 
Then we got the last two here. We got the Defenders, number 119, 60 center. <clears throat> uh, Marvel superheroes battle side by side against each other. And it's in really great shape. That's cool. And then last but not least, we've got the New Warriors, number 10. New Warriors, number 10. <clears throat> it's like she's introducing her. It says, hello, I'm the White Queen. My Hellions and I had just battled the New Warriors. Guess who won? Said, that's not the that's not the first appearance, is it? No, I don't think so. But we'll find out. That's cool. Well, um all in all, let's see that box said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That one had eleven in it. The one the first one had eight, and this one had one, two, eleven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one had nine. So eight, nine, and eleven. <laughs> so twenty-eight comic books for wow, roughly a buck a piece plus shipping. Um man, uh, like I said, I'm not you I only ordered one of these and it was thirty seven ninety five plus shipping. I'm gonna double check, make sure I didn't accidentally order two, and but and I'll post it here in the, you know in post production here and let you know. But I'm pretty sure I only ordered one of these, and I got three. But all in all, man, great books. I ain't, I'm not mad. Um, yeah, really cool. Uh, got a lot of good mixture in there. Um, can't wait to run them through the eBay grinder. Not necessarily to see if I got my money's worth because, you know, I said $52 in. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got my money's worth out of them. And they're all great books. You know, only a couple of, only a couple of, uh, you know, uh, obscure indies that I've never heard about. But most of them are, you know, I mean, pretty good books. But we will run them through the eBay grinder as we always do, and we'll find out if what I missed and how much they're worth. So be back in a flash. All right, we are back, and we ran Neil D twenty six. Name's Neil. I guess I could say his name on. I don't think it'll matter. Uh, Neil Carney. Um, wow, man. Fantastic. Um, restored my faith. Um, now, full disclosure. His ad says you will get 10 books for the $37.95 plus $13.95 shipping. Clearly, he sent me more than 10 books. I messaged him about it and asked, was there a mistake? Um, cause I only ordered one. If you buy two of his boxes, you get one free. So you can get 30 books, you know, all together for the price of, you know, um, 20. Um, but I, like I said, I did message him, asked him, you know, I only ordered one. Did you send me three by mistake? And his response was, and I quote, um, I always send in, I always send extras, especially during these fucked up times. They are fucked up. And, and so, um, not sure how to take that, whether you can expect something like this when you order from him or, or not. Um, so. I'm going to go through these really quickly and just stop on the highlights because there's a lot of them. 
uh, New Warriors, number 10. It's about a $3 book. And again, these are, um, you know how I am. I, I'll try to nitpick something to death on condition. And these are in really good condition. Um, the Defenders, number 119. Also about a $3 book. My Adventures of Superman. I didn't even have to look that up. Everybody knows this one. They made a gazillion of them, but it's still about a $3 book also. And the set of these you can get for about 3 bucks for the pair on eBay. Last sold. This one's confusing me. Why this one is such a high volume, value. Um, I know it's a hush appearance. But um, I'm not sure why. It's a Jim Lee cover. But it's holding a $15 value. And I'm not talking about just one isolated incident. I'm talking about consistently $15 to $18 value. So, huh, yeah. I know it's got a hush in it. And I know it's a Jim Lee cover. But... Still a little confused as to why that was so high, but mm, go figure. Fantastic Four, 342. Yeah, yeah it's a $4 book. <clears throat> Profit, number nine. It's a $2 book. And yes, this is the first appearance of the designer. It's cooled off a little bit, uh, especially on the, the standard cover. But it's about a nine dollar book. <clears throat> X fifty one, the Machine Man, number one. It's about a two dollar book. And this was a good one. Nice little hit here. This is a Credible Hulk annual number six. And this is the first appearance of Paragon. And it's holding about a $15 value. So, yeah, that's a good one. Wolfborn. I had a really difficult time finding this one. Um, I did finally find a set of three that had both the variant cover and this cover in it. And you could buy, buy all four books for 12 bucks. So, but this one is signed with a COA from Brad Middleton. I gave it about a $5 value. Um, not a big book. Uh, no key or nothing. None. But it's signed. I think $5 or 5 bucks maybe, maybe uh, on the low side. Might be able to get more out of it. But uh, you know me. I always figure on the low end a little bit. And Wolverine number 58 is just a $2 book. Batman and the Outsiders, number 28. The three buck, three buck book. And Steve Rogers resigns as Captain America. Captain America 332. It's about a $5 book. Now I remember the significance of this book. This was uh, when, when they killed... Al Jordan off, and this is the Tombstone cover. Um, it's a five dollar book. Um, spoiler alert: he he doesn't stay dead. Cause why? Say it with me: nobody ever dies in comics. <laughs> it's a five dollar book. Cool cover though. I like it. Nineties goodness, man. Love that nineties goodness. Took me a minute to find this one. All that work to find this book and find out it's a dollar bin book, but Spider-Man number 46. It's just a buck. <clears throat> Action Comics number 862. It's just a $2 book. Militia number one. It's just a dollar bin book. Wildcats, X-Men, The Silver Age, from Image Marvel, crossover, number one. It's a lot of, this is a lot to say in one breath for a $3 book, but it's only a $3 book. 
Now this one, I'm excited about this one. It's not a super, super valuable book. It does have some value, but this is in great condition. And this is a, I don't guess it predates Secret Wars, but it is the first, um, the first appearance of Venomized Hulk and Thor, I think, actually. And so that's cool. Um, but it's a $12 book. And this is in great condition, too. I mean, just a, I mean, just a hint of spine roll on it that I'm sure would easily press out if you wanted to get that graded. But I can't get it. I mean, it's not very good, big, so there you go. I think I can get a little bit of it in there. Yeah, just a little bit. But excellent condition, though. And this little Silver Surfer two-piece. Kind of a hard-to-find little mini-series. But you get the set of them for about 19 bucks on eBay. Last sold. Part one and part two. And Amazing Spider-Man number 308. It's a Todd McFarlane cover. Didn't realize it until, you know, I looked it up. That's another reason why I look them up. But, yeah, there's his signature. I was wondering where it was. But, yeah, Todd McFarlane. You know, any, any much as I think the guy is a turd, you know, like I said, I always respected his work. Cause, and, I mean, his stuff holds value. I mean, you can't argue that. And it's a $7 book. It's not a key of any type, but it's just because it's got, it's Todd McFarlane. So, so yeah, cool. Young Blood number ten. This one again, like I said, this is a Liefeld uh, cover, but it's got Spawn in it. But it's like a nine dollar book. I don't know why. Don't know why at all, but and this little monster here took me. I still, I never did find this cover, never found it. Captain Canuck number one. Um, apparently, it's a reboot of this of an older series, so it's been around a while. But trying to find this this cover, I couldn't find it. I mean, I found the other. Uh, ones from the same time period, 2015, and it's Finch Paris co cover, but but I couldn't. I saw I gave it a three dollar value, and I may be severely undervaluing it or overvaluing it. I'm giving, but I this is just comparables, about three bucks. I gave it a three dollar value. <clears throat> Deceased Unkillables, it's a new book, so, you know, it, it hadn't really done anything yet. It's still about cover price. You, you can pick it up on eBay for five bucks plus shipping. And we'll end with a turd. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But this Sigil, Sigil, number one, it's just a buck. Just a dollar book. But, and, all together, man... I am, with taxes and and shipping costs and everything, I am in, I'm into this box at fifty seven dollars and some change. Did y'all will y'all add along with me on this? Cause, um, I got well, I told it up and it came up to one hundred and forty four dollars. And that's plus or minus here and there, you know. Um, I'm not dinging anything. There, there may be some higher value books in here due to due to condition. There's not anything that be considered lower than the value I gave them due to condition because the condition on these is really really good. I mean, even the oldest book in here, that Incredible Hulk. I mean, it ain't mint. Don't get me wrong. I mean. It, um, but I mean, it's a. I mean, it's it's a upper mid grade at least. I mean, look at it. 
there you go. You can you can look at the spine. Doesn't have any real spine ticks. It's a little rolled. I mean, there's the top. I mean, I mean, I'm not a grader, and I and I suck at trying to grade. But I mean, I would say that this thing, this is the worst condition book I got. Okay. And it's an it's not in bad condition, and I'd I'd say that if I had to grade it, uh, seven five, seven seven five. That's an upper mid grade, I'd say. Anyway, my point is, is that that's the worst. That book is in the worst condition of all of them. So there are no conditions on these books. They're in great condition. So. You might get a, you might get a couple bucks actually a price bump on them because their condition is is better than last solds. So, but I do my best. <clears throat> Either way, you know, six one half dozen the other, great books. <clears throat> um, it's really hard for me to give these give them a review because. I, like I said, he didn't send me 10 books. He sent me 28 books. <laughs> so, um, 28 books worth, I got $144 in value. If he would have sent me 10 books, I don't know. But the fact that the guy, you know, during this pandemic that's going on, he he's sending out some extra, some extra books just to try to bring a smile to everyone's face. During these crazy times, um, mad props to you, Neil. That, that is, that's really cool of you. Um, and for that, I give you an A plus. Um, uh, far as the books go, man, sent me some really cool books that I'm really excited to get. Um, that Hulk annual, I'm really excited about. And I think my two favorites are the Hulk annual and that what if book. Oh. That what if book is is really cool, and I can't find, but you know which one it is. <laughs> but um, but yeah, those I think those are my two favorites. That um, my favorite of of all of them would be the what if. That for some reason I just can't find. Now that I want to talk about it, I can, there it is. But, but yeah, I think this one, this one is definitely my favorite out of the lot. Really cool. And again, condition wise, that slight bit of spine roll and that will, that would easily press out. There's no, nothing breaks color. The corners are sharp. Color is good. No color rub, no fading, no dirt, no grime. Just a tiny bit of the spine roll. That, like I said, if I wanted to get this CGC'd, I would have it pressed, and this thing would come back a, a nine two to nine six with a pressing easily. Um, so that being said, I will leave a link to his auction. Are you going to get the same amount of books I got? I don't know. I I really don't. That, that's the hard part about this. I I don't know. You know he he's. He's throwing in some extra stuff, and and that's really cool. But um, <clears throat> I don't know that he's going to send you 28 bucks or if he's going to send you, you know, the 10. Uh, I don't want to speak for him. He just said he, he likes to throw in some extra stuff, especially during times like these. And, you know, kudos to you for that. Anyway, I will leave his link in the description. Great guy, great seller. Excellent books. Couldn't be happier. It's about time Stevie B got a win for a while because I've gotten some turds the last couple weeks. You've seen my videos. You know. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to do it for this unboxing. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss another one. And we will see you on the next video. Peace.